Hello you guys, it is Jasmine here and I am so excited to talk about forgiveness and the importance of us as women of God, as children of God, because I realize that some of you are not just women that tune in, that we are called to forgive. Forgiveness is not something that is easy for our flesh to grasp. Forgiveness is not a concept that is easy for our flesh to grasp. It is so opposite of <laughs> what our flesh would desire, right? And anytime that I talk about the flesh, you know, I love to go to Galatians, which you can dig in there yourself to read about the fruit of the spirit versus the acts of the sinful nature. And, you know, I know even those that are not Christians that do not identify as believers, and in, in nature, you can see that when when we don't forgive, what will happen? You know, it will cause you to physically become sick. Um, you will have mental health issues because you're holding on to grudges. You're holding on to resentment versus releasing those things and operating by faith versus what you see. Because I know for myself, just being fully transparent, you know, there recently was a situation where someone I believe just turned on me and they lied and they said things that were not true. And it was to the point where I was so stunned, I could not fully grasp what was going on like it just felt as if everything was just coming at me so fast and it was very late at night when it happened and i had a friend a few weeks prior talking to me about the importance of us releasing unforgiveness from our minds and our bodies and our hearts quickly when it comes to our spouse and all i could think of was you know what let me own right now that i am upset that I am disappointed, that I am angry, that this is happening. Let me own that because that's the thing is when you are operating in forgiveness, that does not mean that you're ignoring or you're negating that you're hurt. That's not what we are to do. That is <sighs> toxic in my opinion. If you're pretending as if what someone has done did not hurt you. Oh, it's it's okay. No, because really you're just stuffing those feelings. You're not allowing them to come up because the thing is in the spirit. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. It's as if, you know, a seed is being planted, right? Because someone has hurt it, pet, hurt it, you. Someone has hurt you or offended you. Instead of allow, instead of allowing it to take root and begin to really like get deep down inside of us we identify that hey mm -mm, no this happened it's hurtful it's painful god i am giving it to you what boundaries do i need to set up to protect myself so i can heal but i refuse to torture myself because there's a quote and i'll make sure that i get the full quote here there's a quote that talks about how and i'm paraphrasing when we don't forgive another person, it's as if we're consuming poison and then we're expecting the other person to be hurt from us drinking poison. No, that person probably sleeping peacefully at night. So whether that's your spouse, whether that's your boss, whether that's your client, whomever it might be, nobody is off limits to be forgiven, right? And I love that. I love that Matthew chapter 6, verse 14 and 15 says, For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. And I don't know about you, but baby, I am desperately in need of being forgiven by God. We all fall short of the glory of God. That is the truth. I don't care your title in the church. I don't care... None of those things. We are all desperately in need of our Heavenly Father forgiving us and renewing our mind and just humbling us. So when we choose not to forgive, it impacts us, whether you believe it or not, your mind, your body, and your soul. So the best thing to do is to release it, is to literally choose to say, I am not going to be tormented by whatever this thing is. So 
It's also great because Peter goes to Jesus and he says, um, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me? And I, and I forgive him up to seven times. Jesus said to him, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to 70 times seven. So this means that forgiveness is daily. Like you're going to have to choose to forgive people every single day. And really, let's, let's, let's take it deeper. Even forgiving ourselves, right? Forgiving ourselves for sometimes not always making the right decisions and always doing what is right. We have to walk in forgiveness with others and also ourselves. Uh, here's another great verse. Isaiah 43, 18, 19. Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. So I think that that part so liberating too is just like saying, you know what? Yes, this thing really hurt. God, I pray that you work on that person. It's not my job to work on them or even if it's yourself where you have stumbled or you've made a mistake and knowing, guess what? God is more than able to do a new thing, right? Um, he says, behold, I will do a new thing. So trust God, believe that God is more than able to do it, but it's not your job to try to heal that person or to fix that person. Whew. So I pray that this has encouraged you. I'm going to pray for you and, um, just trusting that God will reveal to you what needs to happen in order for you to just release all that pain. And I'm sorry that those things happen to you and that you are hurting to the point that possibly you're struggling with forgiving someone else. Just know that God is more than able to bless you with his shalom, with his joy supernaturally as you're on this healing journey. So let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come before you humbly asking you to heal us, asking for you to intervene as our minds might be racing, our hearts may be heavy, God, and we may be grieving, grieving a friendship or relationship that we felt should look or feel a certain way. And it's just not what we expected. So Lord, right now, I just pray for the person who is tuning in and who is in need of a divine intervention, who's in need of your super being placed on their natural God. I ask that you would comfort them in a mighty way. Would you show yourself strong to them, God? Would you show them what steps they need to take to walk in forgiveness? Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Even as easy as repeating this, Lord, I forgive blank. For blank. So Lord, we just thank you that we can take the pressure off of, our, off of ourselves to be perfect and that we can just rest in your perfect plans for us. And if you call us to forgive God, we want to be in alignment with you. We want to do things the way that you call us to do, not the way that the world tells us to do things or what our flesh or our mind tells us feels good that we would trust you like never before. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Love you all. Be well. Be encouraged. And until next time, I love you, but God loves you more.